Well, you know, we may be joking around when we say something simple isn't brain surgery. Mm -hmm. That's because brain surgery, you know, is really difficult. But now new technology is making brain surgery safer and a little easier, even helping explain complicated procedures to patients. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show us how something called surgical theater helps immerse patients and doctors into a person's virtual brain. While everyone's brain is very similar in terms of where functional areas are generally located, up close, our brains are really very individualized. When a neurosurgeon is operating, millimeters can be the difference between a brilliant outcome or a devastating disability. And that's where the tech of virtual and augmented reality can help neurosurgeons operate with much greater precision, even seeing things that are not obvious to the naked eye. Five-year-old Halen Frommer was born with a rare genetic disorder called tuberous sclerosis. She has tumors on her brain, heart and kidneys, um, and uh, the brain tumors cause epileptic seizures. Halen originally received seizure treatment in Ohio, but her parents, Alan and Heather, were told there was better technology to help their daughter in Michigan. So they packed up and moved to Fenton to be closer to this new virtual reality tool. It's literally like um, like a video. It's game. a 3D image of her inside of her brain, and it's so amazing because you can see that terrible tuber, and you can see where Dr. Serrano was able to place those lasers around the tuber so that he could laser around the entire piece and and help her that way. And you could see the red it light up red where the seizures were coming from. In this way, the technology can be used to explain complicated anatomy to patients and their families, but also help the surgeons do their job. We are looking right now the uh, surgical theater technology that has been really useful to, uh, to, um, uh, to help to have a more precise type of epilepsy surgery or in general brain surgery. Dr. Cesar Serrano is a pediatric neurosurgeon and director of epilepsy surgery at Corwell Health Children's in Southeast Michigan. And his virtual reality avatar is taking my virtual reality avatar on a tour of Halen's brain, a place he could become familiar with before ever picking up a scalpel. When I open the skull and see the brain, I already recognize what I saw before, mm -hmm. exactly the same. Having that level of familiarity comes from being able to preview all of the anatomy in oh. virtual reality. I can show you that exactly where we found the problem was in that green area is what we, we identify as abnormal on the MRI. And in terms of planning, he's able to see the abnormality relative to essentially invisible neural pathways. That deletion is a way for an important motor tracks, like the blue track that you see behind is the motor track of the patient. And when it comes time for the actual surgery, he's able to see these invisible virtual reality images superimposed on the patient's actual brain using a surgical microscope with augmented reality. We can use this technology to be more precise, to have reconstruction of important motor tracks or, or eloquent tracts in the brain and avoid any lesion with those. And after Halen's surgery, her parents couldn't be more pleased. We are on week three of no seizures. We have had three weeks of no seizures in five years. So it's amazing. Now, Dr. Serrano started out mainly using the surgical theater with his epilepsy surgeries, but he has become so confident in its application that he says he now uses it with most of his non-epilepsy cases as well. Back to you. All right, pretty interesting stuff. Thanks, Doc. You can imagine so many applications for this technology. You can see more incredible examples of flying through different brain conditions on the Corwell Health website. We did put a link with this story on our health page at clickondetroit.com.